Hey guys, Entech here and welcome back to Galahad 3093. We played this on the channel earlier in the week and I had an extremely fun time playing this game. Now if you guys don't know what this game is, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown on what it is. This is a mech based shooter set in a sci-fi future. You've got various customizable mechs that you can play as well as these knights who are like the drivers that have epic abilities that they can do in game. You can fight in massive 32 player battles and they are very intense and a ton of fun. So guys, today I have some extremely awesome news. Simutronics, the company who is making the game, is putting on a massive tournament called the Echelon Wars, and this tournament is sponsored by SteelSeries. Now this video is sponsored by Simutronics to help promote the game and the tournament, and I couldn't be more excited as I really enjoy the game and you guys have the ability to win some sweet gear. So you can sign up and compete in this tournament for a chance to win over 100 SteelSeries gaming accessories. Now before I tell you how you can sign up for the tournament, I'll tell you if you're not playing the game, just go to Steam, look up their game, and then click the enter the playtest and you can get right into it. So here's how you sign up for the tournament. Within the game, look for the Echelon Wars tournament advertisement in the Galahad 3093 menu and then click sign up. It's completely free and it only requires your email address. The tournament starts Friday, March 26th at 7 p.m. CST and ends Sunday, March 28th at 10 p.m. CST. So you have a little bit of time to get into the game and get as many points as you possibly can. Now, during this time period, your score at the end of each match you play gets added to an overall total score for the tournament, which you can view under the leaderboards tab of the main menu. Then, at the end of the tournament period, the top 100 scorers win prizes from Steel Series, and the details of the bundles that you can win are, can be found at the link in the description below. So go check that out, guys! Like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're gonna have an epic video today because if you haven't seen the gameplay of this yet, I'm gonna hop into some matches. I'm gonna show you just how fun this game can be. Let's go! Okay, this is actually the setup I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with this girl because she can double jump and stuff. I'm also gonna get some, I'm gonna use these mini guns. We've got, I've got an energy one and a regular one. You got the recurve, which are your secondary weapons, which auto lock on. Sentry, which is a uh, you know, turret, and then different mods you can get, like armor booster, energy shields, enhanced auto loader. These are just things that I chose. And then you can even change the color of what you want your guy to look like. And so I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna deploy. We're gonna get into the action, and uh, we're gonna see what this what this chick's like because I haven't used her yet. But she's got what's whatever is called Optimus jets, which is awesome sounding. And uh, where am I at? It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, here I am down here on the bottom. We'll go to S3, I guess. Once you commit to the jump, you are committed. Once you jump, you are just committed. <laughs> As you can see, you would go a lot further maybe than what you want, and uh, it is what it is. So there's first and third person view. I kind of like the first person view. You go to C. Try to cap C. So now at C, here's the thing. There's different points within the area that you have to destroy uh, once like somebody takes a base. So there's like one, two, three, four different points. And then you can just cap that the general like op uh, middle area or wherever the wherever this beacon is, I guess is what you want to call it. I'm not entirely sure. Oh crap. Well, it looks like I'm going down this way. Oh, we're capping it, sweet. Oh yeah, well, you see me now, don't you? Take my turrets, bro. Yeah, he got turreted. Ah, yeah. Protect this zone. They're coming up. Two of them. Special Turret. Ready. Two of them. I think he just jumped, didn't he? He's shooting behind us. Look at this. So maneuverable. And then it. <laughs> get, get shredded, dude. Oh, I like the, I like the lights. Oh my gosh, the light is like my favorite class so far. Look at this. You, where you going, bro? Look at this. This is what you can do in this game, you guys. It's so much maneuverability. It's just insanely intense. I freaking love it. Where are they? They go inside. Turret in your face. He's trying to run, man. We'll go to th out of that mode so I can see where he's going. He went back in? Where'd he go? He vacated. Yeah, he did. 
Dropping in, dropping in. Dropping in on a turret. Freaking turret! What is he doing? What was that? What did that guy just do? I'm gonna go back over here. And we're gonna find the repair station inside. And I'm gonna repair. I don't know where it is though. Because I have. My shields are back up, but obviously you can see here it is. You can see that I have low health. Look at this. This game's awesome, man. Okay, where am I right now? I'm all in the middle. I gotta go. I'm in the wrong spot. I thought I was in the right place. I gotta go over to A. Which makes sense. So that right there is orbital strike. Please don't fly into it. Oh my gosh. There's a supply cache. I've actually never, uh. Am I capping it? Is that what's happening? I've actually never gotten one before. It looks as though I'm capping it. We'll see what it does. I don't actually know. This game, though, I mean, you guys can see, it's pretty intense. Alright, maybe it gives me... Yo! Jeez, man. Was it... I'm almost dead. Ah, oh, crap. I should have just booked it out of there instead of trying to... Trying to fight right there. Dang it, that was... I, this game is so intense. I literally almost had that. Did I? Did I not cap it? We got this. We got this base. guy up there. I can't. I'm. I'm torn on what view I like more. Oh, is he coming to me? We just got blown up in midair. That was epic. Shoot that guy. I hit him a little bit. Well, I'm gonna land right on this dude. Literally on them. Oh, I don't think I even hit him though. Dang it, that sucks. I literally landed right on that guy. What's up, dude? Oh, my freaking turret's destroying this guy. Well, I went too far. Dang it. <laughs> That's about the only downside. Is when you, uh, when you jump way too far. So these are the cores you have to destroy. They have turrets and stuff that get posted when you capture a zone. I always jump off the wrong side here. Here we go. Nobody around. Oh, I lied. No, that's a turret. Literally right there. Do it. Do it, turrets. Go. No. Not yet ready. We gotta go get four. Oh, here he is right here. He's trying to, he's trying to run away. <laughs> he's actually trying to run. Alright, can we go to C now, guys? Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Almost perfect. I don't know if there's a way to stop it, but I'd like to. <laughs> Sometimes. Here we go. We're capping now, finally. Then we gotta go to we gotta move as a team. I mean, this game is definitely a team sport, T team game. Yeah, that's it. Come on, dude. Here we go. Heavy, heavy mode. Let's see what we can do here. Guy down there. Let's go get him. Dude, the heavies are so crazy. I gotta remember, I got that ability, Excalibur, which does a lot of damage with the orbital strike. Got hit him a little bit there. Watch out the trackers. Come here, dude. Oh, the slug thrower. This thing is does a lot of damage, but it definitely uh, has limitations. Freaking attack drone. Woo! The beam cannon does a lot of damage. I can't even can't even get up there. Come here, dude. I think it's better when you have this uh Come on! Dude, no, he got away. Are you kidding me? He's got like no HP. There we go. I was like, you cannot get out of here, man. Oh, this guy's almost dead too. Come on. Got him. Jeez. Heavy mode. I should I should play heavy more often. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I haven't seen that guy as uh used as a knight. What is, what is, science, science is his name. 
What does he do? Time to make something happen. K skim jets can leave a trail of burning jet fuel. Oh, in interesting. Burning fu fuel. Instantly teleported to a nearby location. That might be a pretty good thing to have. Can create a large shield dome that protects against incoming damage. Let's feast on these swine. But the orbital strike though, that's I don't know, that's pretty that's pretty good. Temporarily invisible. That's pretty good too. Cannot be detected on radar. Let's let's try Morgan. Let's try it and see uh what happens here. Spawn beacon. We go to C. Uh let's see. We should go to A maybe. Okay, we'll do spawn beacon and then go to A. Execute There's a guy over at A. Oh my gosh, no. Hold down B. It is a freaking war zone over here. I want to land right on this guy. Oh crap, he's moving. It would have been perfect. Where'd he go? I like first person first person mode with this. Gosh. With the heavy, just seems like it works better. Oh no, I I forgot about that. Yo, what's up, little man? Ah, uh, the beam. Come on. Come on, where did he go? Freaking turrets. Shadowfield. Dang it, that sucked. I almost had that guy. It bugs me so bad when people barely get away like that. Gotta get out of dodge. No! I can't. <laughs> Can't, can't, can't quite get out of dodge. Okay, the beam the beam is pretty good, but I wonder if we try two slug throwers. Those things seem pretty good. Let's try uh, two, two of these. Actually, because you have... Oh, I can't do that. Maybe we'll try the laser minigun? No, I want to have uh, just a regular minigun. Got him. Assist. Dude, this combination, heavy with these guns, good combination. I like it a lot. Okay, let's go to B. Let's cap B. Here we go. We're going in. Lost. We lost this base, but I think it's about to be over. Or not. Alright, we won. That was definitely a different experience playing as a heavy. I actually really enjoyed that. I still died a bunch, but at least I did... I felt like I was more in control than I usually am, which I really, uh, I really like that. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, don't forget Echelon Wars Tournament. Sign up right here on the main page uh, when, when you're in the game and get into the action. You guys could potentially win some sweet Steel Series gear. There's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that you can win potentially. Climb that leaderboards. It'll be interesting to see who's at the top of the leaderboards. I'd love to know like what they're playing, what kind of style of uh, what lance they're using, what knight they're using, how they play the game. Guys, don't forget, it starts Friday, the 26th, so today, 7 p.m. CST. It ends on Sunday, March 28th at 10 p.m. CST, and you can get uh, leaderboard rankings. You can climb leaderboards based on the score at the end of each match. So that means not only just killing people, but also playing the objective, playing as a team, and uh, hopefully, you know, it'll be it'll be cool to see how this goes. And at the end of the tournament, the people with the top 100 scores will win prizes from Steel Series. It's a big tournament, so don't don't miss out on it. It's free free to join, free to play currently in this test mode, and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys in it. All right, catch you guys next time.